Well, the uh, so the first first step is to do a test to see if people have it and see if they stop breathing in their sleep. And then if they do, we see how severe it is. The more severe it is, the more important it is to, to treat it. And the mainstay of treatment is something called CPAP. Now, some people have a very good experience with it and some people uh, have some difficulty with it. What it consists of basically is that there's a machine that creates some pressure that inflates the back of your throat so you don't snore anymore, you don't stop breathing, air just goes in and out. Now there's a little bit of a learning curve to get used to sleeping with a mask on your face and with this pressure coming in and you breathe a different way. You push the air out and then the machine fills up your lungs. And so a lot of people perceive that as feeling that they're smothering or a lot of people feel claustrophobic with the mask. Most of those are things that people can get used to over several weeks. But one classic mistake people make is trying to get used to it too quickly. A lot of times they'll put a mask on and they'll try to wear it for eight hours, they'll get frustrated, they'll wear it a couple nights and then we'll just throw it away. Um, we get a lot of people who have tried CPAP, tried to do without it, are still tired and try to give it another try. And we've been fairly successful with people trying it for the second time. If people can't tolerate CPAP, then there are other devices which can be quite successful. So there's one called a mandibular advancement device where you wear a mouthpiece that advances your jaw, pulls your tongue forward, gets it out of the way of the back of your throat and you, for the right person with the right anatomy, they can have their sleep apnea be very effectively treated.